Hey everybody, today we're going to play with space in another way. So this is part two. Uh, and you can see I'm drawing a figure, a stick figure that I'm turning into a person with shapes. This is my friend Bounce. And in each box, I am drawing him in a different way. In the first box, he's got huge feet. In the second box, he is a huge body. In the third box, I'm going to draw him with a big head and a super big mouth. So in this fourth box, I'm going to draw him with super big hands. And pretty big arms too. Long arms and big hands. So already you can start to see the difference in size and how when you make his feet big or his belly big, it changes the look of everything. It emphasizes something. It makes everybody look at the place that's super big or super small, right? Look how small his head looks next to his big body, but it's pretty much the same size as the first box, give or take. And over here, his mouth is just huge. It looks like he's screaming something versus in the first box where he's just maybe talking. So I'm going to draw each one of them with basically the same background and the same colors just so we can see how when you change the size of something it changes the way you see or feel about the picture. They all get a light blue shirt. takes a lot longer to color in the one with the big belly. It is a very big belly for him. And long arms. Nice purple pants for all of them. And I'm going to give them all some big, big big pink feet. Well, not all big, but all pink. And the first one, he really looks like he's kind of falling backwards or doing something with those huge feet. They all have nice orange hands. My marker is running out. So I'm curious to see what you think about this and how you want to use this to emphasize something. You know, how can you use drawing people with different body parts, big or small, to emphasize, to put a focal point on something that you want to say in your story or in your picture? Because pictures are stories without words. I'm going to give them all a little bit of a background to make my picture look complete. And again, you know, Bounce is looking good. I think my favorite one for Bounce, for his personality, might be the big head, big mouth one. And I kind of like the big arms. I like all of them, the big feet. I think that drawing him four different ways, you know, kind of would help with a different story for each one. You know, the one with the bigger belly looks like he's further away. The one with the bigger feet looks like his feet are closer to us. And the big head, he just looks like he's got so much to say. And the big hands and bit long arms looks like he's sort of grabbing out for you. So I'm going to color them in a little bit more. Try this at home. Make up your own character. You don't need to draw Bounce. You could draw yourself. You could draw uh, anybody in your family. Remember how we do it. Go from stick figure to person. Try your best to be consistent and make uh, it the same person in each box with different body parts, bigger or smaller. And have a really good time and have fun doing this. Now remember, this is really sped up. I do not draw this quickly. And it's just a little mini idea on something you can do today. Have fun. 
If you like my video, click subscribe and the like buttons and have a fabulous, fabulous day. Thanks for watching.